Hi everyone, Matt Stewart here with Polo Banker Ronin Realty, here to talk to you about the September 2022 market stats. I'm going to go over all the areas that I cover and at the very end I'm going to give you my takeaway and maybe a little bit of predictions what I think is going to happen through the rest of the fall and into the new year. As we look over to the tiny beaches market in August, we saw the average purchase price sit around 653,000. We saw a pretty significant jump up to 849,000 in September. There was 50 new listings in August, and then there was 52 new listings in September. The number of sales, this is where the bigger change happened. There was 22 in August, and there was 12 sales in September. Now, inventory levels staying pretty re relative, 50 new listings in August, 52 in September. But the pricing, again, Tiny does have some larger acreage properties, waterfront properties, so it does influence the pricing. But from 653,000 to 849,000, if you're looking to sell in that market, it's showing me right now that right now is a good time to sell. And that's typically the fall market is really, really strong for tiny beaches because everyone's used their cottage or they get their last use of the property. And then in the fall, they tend to sell, which is why I think we're seeing such strong pricing. Um, in terms of sales, having those numbers drop off a little bit, showing that the inventory levels that are there, they're sitting a little bit longer. So there are more opportunities, but again, the prices are holding really strong. Thanks for tuning in to my market stats for 2022 in September. My takeaway from what we're seeing in the stats from last month, we're starting to see some consistency in the market. Things are starting to balance out as buyers and sellers are both starting to be accustomed to the new normal, which is again, higher interest rates, inventory levels are starting to increase. But as you've seen through the statistics, some of the markets there, we saw increases in price, we saw decreases in price, we saw in increases in inventory, and we saw decreases in inventory. So I want everyone to keep in mind that each market is definitely different. Um, there's some good deals that can be had in this market for buyers, and there's some good sale prices to be taken advantage of from sellers. So if you do have questions about the market in your own specific area, feel free to reach out to me. All my contact details are below. And like my prediction for the fall going into the winter is we're going to see the number of sales start to decline as we get closer to winter, but we're going to see some consistency finally in terms of pricing, which means that for buyers, there's going to be some good deals and sellers. You're going to start to get some consistency in the numbers and the sales of homes. So that's my takeaway for what's going to happen going into the fall and winter. Thank you again for tuning in. If you have any questions or want to chat about real estate, all my contact details are below. Thanks for tuning in.